In today's video, we're going to take a look at the disposal of fixed assets in Xero. When you're using the fixed asset register in Xero, how do you deal with the disposal of the sale of a fixed asset? Let's head into Xero and take a look. So the first place we're going to go to is we're going to go to accounting and we're going to go to our chart of accounts. When we dispose of an asset, it's unlikely to be at the net book value, so there's going to be a loss or a gain on disposal. And we want to set up an account for that. If we take a look at the chart of accounts, love it or hate it, the zero chart of accounts is more or less in alphabetical order. So if we're going to put a loss on disposal, head down and I'm going to choose account number 448. It can be any number, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to add account. Type I want to select is overhead. Code, I said 448. Loss, or if we're lucky, gain on disposal of assets. There's no VAT on this, so I'm going to click the drop down and select no VAT. I'm going to choose save. And that is my account set up. Let's take a quick look at our fixed assets. So if we go to accounting and to fixed assets and choose our registered assets, we only have one, our laptop. If we choose it, we can see the information. It was purchased on the 1st of May and we can see it's depreciated on the straight line method. If we choose value, we can see at this stage, the value of it after accumulated depreciation of 150 pounds is 1,050. So if we dispose of the asset, we simply go to options and choose dispose. So it's asking us a few questions. What's the date of disposal? I'm going to say it was the 1st of November. How much were the sale proceeds? I'm going to say a thousand pounds. And then it's saying, well, what's the sale proceeds account? Now, there will be money coming into the business because we've sold it. So Sarah was simply saying, where did we code the thousand pounds to? So we're going to say we coded thousand pounds to the loss gain on disposal of assets. Then Zero is saying, what about depreciation? Well, we're going to depreciate, and this will depend on company policy, but we're going to depreciate our assets right up to the date of disposal. So I'm going to say, yes, it'll be depreciated, and it'll be depreciated up to the last day of October. And I say, show summary. So here we have the information. It costs £1,200. It had been depreciated by 150, which means the net book value was 1,050. We sold it for 1,000 pounds, so the loss on disposal is 50 pounds. All that makes sense. We then choose review journals. And this time we see the debits and credits that are going to be entered in zero. So let's just go through what is happening here. This is the information. The date of disposal is the 1st of November and the sale price was 1,000 pounds. So what's going to happen, this is the code where the cost of our laptop is sitting in zero. It's a debit amount and this is going to be cancelled, reversed by a credit. Then we have the depreciation, the accumulated depreciation, the depreciation to date. And we only bought this laptop recently, so the depreciation is only £150. By debiting that account, we're removing that depreciation. Then Zero saying, you've told me that the £1,000 went to the loss on disposal. Then the loss on disposal and Zero is simply saying, where do you want this to be coded to? Well, we've set up our code. So we can click on the drop down, head down and select code 448. Once we're happy, we just choose post. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to look at a profit and loss account. And when I get to the month of November, there's not much else happening in our zero account at this stage. When we scroll down, we expect to see a loss on disposal of £50. Little bit surprised that that's not the figure we see here, but there's a reason for that. And that's because we said that the £1,000 was received in the business and it was also coded here. Now, in our case that hasn't happened. So what we want to do now is actually enter that transaction in zero. So let's go to our current account 
and we're going to say we're going to add a receive money transaction. This would probably feed in through the bank rec rather than add it now, but we can add it. Let's say we sold it to the computer store. The date is the 1st of November. Description is sale of the laptop. And we've already said that it was coded to the loss, the gain on disposal. We're not VAT registered, so that can be no VAT. If you were a VAT registered business, you might have to sell this with VAT. But we're saying no VAT and we're going to save that transaction. Now when we go back to the profit and loss account, still in the month of November, scroll down to our expenses and this time we see the figure that we expect to see. We can click on it. Here we see the journal entry for the disposal of the asset and we also see the proceeds of £1,000 ending up with the loss on disposal of £50. It's also worth knowing if we go back to our fixed assets, we can go to the asset that we've disposed of and if we had made a mistake, we can select it and we have an option to undo the disposal. So that is how you record a disposal of an asset in Zero. Until next time, happy zeroing.